I think the Pilbara Aboriginal strike was a remarkable uh, episode in the history of Aboriginal rights in Australia uh, that, is, that isn't widely recognised. Aboriginal people in the Pilbara in the 1940s were a colonised workforce. Uh, they had very few freedoms. There were uh, laws and practices put up against them to limit their freedoms and to, to keep them a, a, a impoverished a workforce that uh, was available for the pastoral industry. The strike lasted between 1946 and 1949. It was an enormous struggle for the Aboriginal people. They had considerable forces ranged against them. The pastoralists, the police, the Government Department of Native Affairs, the mainstream press. But they also had some allies. A support group in Perth uh, was always aware of what was happening in the Pilbara and letting even um, international organisations know what was going on. They also had a powerful ally in the white man, Don McLeod. In the Pilbara there, was, there were other sources of income that enabled them to survive away from the stations and particularly uh, there was rich mineral resources uh, that they were able to exploit. And in the end the Aboriginal people never really went back to work on the pastoral stations. Instead they struck out on their own, forming a cooperative. During the 1950s, the cooperative movement achieved a level of group authority uh, and independence that was really unique in Australia at that time. And it became um, a model for uh, activists across Australia to look to uh, as an alternative to assimilation. <laughs>